Copilot is Microsoft's AI that's being integrated into basically everything. And unlike most of those other AIs out there, Copilot is free to use by anyone. Now there is a paid version of Copilot as well that'll integrate into Office. And if you wanna see a video on that, comment below with the word Clippy. And I'll make a video on that for you. And AI has already been a massive change to how we all use computers. And I know many of you are concerned about AI taking over the world or Copilot or AI just taking away your job. You're fired. So here's a few ways that I use Copilot so you can make those AI overlords work for you. And I'll even show you a way to completely disable it. Now the easiest place to start using Copilot right now is by going to Bing and then click up here on the chat. Now Copilot is powered by ChatGPT and you can talk to it about anything. And there are different conversation modes that you can pick from. So if you wanted to write a script for a video or a song, use the creative mode. You just give me the facts. Just the facts. Only the facts. Then you'll want to click here and be more precise. Or you can go over here into a balanced conversation. And there's even some more specific GPTs up on the right if you're looking for one of those. Now, since you have access to a super smart AI, what do you ask it? Well, you can treat it like a search engine and just ask your normal questions, like what's the latest update in the news? Or you can even ask it some more complex questions, things that need a little figuring out, like how many suitcases can fit in the trunk of a Tesla Model Y? And you can even ask Copilot to write you a story or some code or even a song. And it can help you improve what you've already written. So just drop it in the conversation and ask it to summarize it or write it better. And I use this a lot when I'm writing scripts and titles for my videos all the time. And this is one of the most important things to remember about Copilot or any other AI. You must review what it tells you. All these AI know a lot of things. Practically all of human knowledge is there, but they don't understand any of it. And sometimes they hallucinate and make stuff up. Legal Eagle did a great video on how AI can just ruin you. It was bad. It was very, very bad. And I've linked to that video in the description for you. I'll see you in court. And if you're using the Edge browser, you can not only have longer conversations with Copilot, but it's integrated directly into the Edge browser. Just click right up here on the Copilot icon. And that'll open the pane on the side so you don't even have to leave the web page that you're on. Now the Edge pane also has some specific advantages for Copilot, like using the Compose area. Just tell Copilot what you want to talk about, then give it a tone. You can set the format and the length, and then just click Generate. And you get something like this. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel where I show you how to master cloud and make your life easier. And you know, chatting with the AI is great, but what if you're more into art and graphic design? Then you are gonna love this. Unlike most of those other image generators, Copilot would design what you want for free. Just type it in the description, like design a YouTube thumbnail in a digital art style of a bearded man in a baseball cap, standing in a data center with red blinking lights and a cloud in the background. And then you can check out all of the results. But this is still a conversation. You can always ask Copilot to adjust some of the details or to give you something completely different, like designing a logo or a shirt or anything else that you want. Then you can click on and download the image that you want, and then you can even modify it yourself in Photoshop or Paint. Oh, and speaking of Paint, Microsoft Paint has finally gotten an update in the last 100 years, and you can now click up here on the Co-Creator button. Just type what you want, choose a style, and there you go. Pick the one you like and even make some changes until you're happy. Just like Copilot, but built right into Paint. But you should also know that there's a limited number of credits per day that you can use in Paint. So if you want to do a lot of this, just use Copilot directly. I can't believe you didn't know that. Now in a recent update, Copilot has been added into the latest version of Windows 11, which you can see here on the taskbar. And this will open the Copilot pane right in Windows. And it works just like the browser version, but it's always right here when you need it. Just type whatever you want into the conversation and off you go. Uh, I don't trust computers. Now, if you're not ready for the AI revolution, you can just disable it in Windows. Now, how you disable it is gonna depend on how your computers are managed. If you just have a standalone computer by yourself, you're not part of a company or anything, 
go to run and type gpedit.msc. Or if you're Active Directory Manage, go create a new group policy. Then you guys can go to the user configuration, admin templates, Windows components, Windows Copilot. Then open this policy and then enable it. And yeah, enabling it will actually disable Copilot. If you're Intune Manage, then you wanna to go to Devices, Configuration, and create a new policy. Select Windows 10 or later as the platform, use Templates, and then select Custom as the profile type. Give the profile a name and a description, and then click Next. Then click here and add your policies. The name and the description can be whatever you want, but the OMA URI needs to be exactly like this, and that's in the video description. Then your integer value here should be one, and that'll look something like this. Then hit save at the bottom and click next. Assign your policy to whatever users or devices you need to. And if you wanna actually disable everything everywhere, then you don't need any applicability rules, just create. Now, once your policy all rolls out, the Copilot icon will be removed from the taskbar and you're safe from the AI. Skynet is assuming control over global communications in preparation for its... So learn to make Copilot work for you in whatever you're doing and happy learning while you still can.